Good morning, Solid Steppers. This is Miss Ward coming to you live and fly and in charge from Fort Lauderdale. Good morning. Monday has begun and the week is already special. Why am I pulling out from this building? This is Cylinder Head Exchange. This is one of the greatest and best cylinder head machine shops in Florida. When I was in automotive, I used to come here all the time to get head work done or any major engine work I needed taken care of. Well, this goes back to relationships. I am here because on a client's appliance, there's a part I need. And because it's not available, they're going to actually make it for me. And uh, the specs, it's a piece of sheet metal that has to be a specific uh, specification. So they uh, have the template and they're going to take care of it for me. See, this is what I mean about relationships. You got to have those relationships, y'all. Y'all got to have those relationships. Now, this guy's going to charge me a hundred bucks to take care of this for me. Now, if I was waiting on the manufacturer with a specific part, I'm looking at two to three weeks or more. So this is what I mean about appliance repair and being resourceful. Are you resourceful? Can you get it done? That's the name of the game, y'all. Well, I'm looking forward to an exciting week. I want to make sure that I shout it out, everybody out. Um, I want to say congratulations to Mr. Sneed. Uh, he's one of my mentors. He's the reason why I got started in appliance repair. I love the way that he takes his businesses and takes the money from those businesses and profits and invest in real estate and other businesses. See, this is what they call a true serial entrepreneur. This is a guy that doesn't brag, doesn't brut. You know, he, he ain't riding out here in high-end cars, wasting his money or playing games. And you know, if you're in a high-end car in business, I would like to think that it's a write-off. You know, I hope you're smart with it. But however you get down, you know, everybody got their own flavor and the only way, and the way they do it. Me, I prefer to focus on high profit items and uh, appliances that other people don't want to work on. It's always a win-win for me. Puts me in a category by myself. Now, is it easy? No. Because my I have to study my ass off. You know? But that's the price you pay to be great. You know, if you want to be substandard and all that other stuff, you know, go ahead and do that. That's not how Miss Ward gets down. I want to send a shout out to Tony in the A. One of my ABC family members had a great conversation with him this weekend <clears throat> about uh, tweaking his business, and he's going to be phenomenal. So, what I want to talk about at this particular time is planting seeds. No, I don't talk to everybody. No, Miss Ward don't deal with everybody. But the people I do talk to, particularly when they are forming their businesses, I consider that planting seed and fertile ground. You know, and if you are an ABC uh, graduate of the program, because of my relationship with Mr. Sneed, your initial consultation is no charge because I want you to do well. Also, I want to be attached to people who are, are the future and who are going to form and develop this industry because I could be talking to the next, you know, Ben Carson or uh, what's the guy from TLC, Beatrice Foods, the gentleman, Reggie, I forgot his name. Um, and then you got uh, Robert Johnson, and then you got Robert Smith. These are great people who were entrepreneurs. Ben Carson was a, a neurosurgeon, but hey, still brilliant. But at the end of the day, what I'm telling you is, is you don't, you never know who you're talking to. And people always remember the people that got them started. You know, like me, I always give props to Sneed, and I always will, because at the end of the day, he put a blueprint out there, and then I tweaked it and made it my own. You follow me? I shaped it in a form that worked for me and for my vision. That's called staying focused, you know? And so when you're dealing with people, you want to make sure that is a reciprocating relationship. I don't have a problem talking to any of the guys I talk to. Greg Birch, Carlos Cortez, uh, William, Darian, Clark, you know, all these guys, Mo, you know, all those guys I talk to, Slick, of course, you know, I talk to them because 
we are all in business and everybody got a way they handle their business and we can all get something from each other you know and that's what i'm talking about building a team around you i don't affiliate with losers man i don't affiliate with people who don't know how to get it and get it out the mud you know who are resourceful you know it's a, it's this is the name of the game so if you surround yourself with people that's constantly growing you know, people always look at me in awe and amazement. Oh, Miss Ward doing this, Miss Ward doing that or that. Let me explain something to you. Do you know how much, how many scales I had to pull back mentally just to even see the light of day? Because all my life, people tried to pigeonhole me. They wanted me to be like this, that. You know, you're so smart. You could get so much further if it wasn't for this or wasn't for that. You know, because they wanted me to conform to whatever they wanted. Well, you know, screw you. I hate to tell you, you know, I'm here to take notes, but if you ain't successful, I ain't listening. You know, the fruit shows who you are. You know, and if you ain't got no fruit, then why are you talking to me? I'm just saying. So, that's how y'all got to look at it. Like right now, I'm going somewhere, I'm a little irritated because they got like the worst damn customer service. But they have a part I need, so I gotta go in here and swallow it, and 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 then I gotta help them find the damn part. <sighs> Luckily, I'm trying to take care of my customer. But hey, you know, and they got a great business. I mean, they could make so much money if they got their life together. But hey, it is what it is, man. It's not my problem. I'm just gonna utilize them while I can, cause they're close to me, and get it done. Yep gotta realize man you can't throw the baby out with the bath water rule number one but I want everybody to have an outstanding day phenomenal week I want you to plot your moves man plot your moves plot your moves man don't be moving and not with no recourse or outcome or knowing what you're doing, man. Even if you get stuck along the way, the beautiful part about life, you can always readjust and fix that, you know? That's always up to you. So with that said, I'm getting ready to wrap this up because I'm getting ready to go deal with these uh, people about this business. And I'm going to have to give them my full attention since they really be tripping. I mean, I really... Oh my God, I'm going to be nice this morning. I had to get my mind ready to deal with people who don't understand customer service and I have to get my brain in order where I can deal with them because I swear I can't stand it. But it's not my business. I'm just utilizing it to uh, get to where I need to go. So with that said, y'all, I'm going to sign off. And if anything I have ever said on <clears throat> any of my videos have helped you, please like, subscribe, and share. I'm sure I'm going to give you guys an update when I can actually focus. But right now i got to focus on teaching these people how to provide customer service and extracting what I need from them and moving on and not allowing it to interrupt my day. That's a lot of work, y'all. That's a lot of work. So as I always say, y'all, solid steppers, keep your head out, up, and above all else, get out here and get it. Miss Ward signing off. Have a blessed day and a phenomenal week. I'll talk to you later.